Thank you so much to Audio Ray for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys stay till the end because we're giving away one of these to one lucky subscriber. Hello guys and welcome back to the Compass Box Studio channel. As you can see, we're in the new space right now. Don't worry, there's a full video tour coming up soon. The entry-level drum mic kit setup is pretty saturated with a lot of great products already. Uh, there are great products from Shure, from AKG. In fact, we did a review for an AKG drum mic kit setup not too long ago. Make sure you click the card and uh, check that out as well. But it's always great to find a new company come in and enter this particular market. That being said, it's a difficult market to capitalize on because there's so much great competition and the prices are so fierce and competitive. And it's not often where you get to work with and review an Indian mic manufacturer like Audio Ray. The one great thing about this case is that it comes in a solid hard case. Most of the cheap entry-level drum mic kits come in fabric cases and I guess that's fine for most people, but it's great to have the additional security a hard case brings. Now, whether you're recording this at your studio or recording it live, it's great to have your very first investment. And this is typically targeted towards first time buyers of drum mic kits to have that investment secured in a package like this. Now, it's only once you open it, do you actually get to see how good of a deal this is. In the 15 to 20,000 rupee market for drum mic kits, you'll typically get anywhere between five to six mics. Uh, this kit, however, has nine. So now this comes with four tom slash snare mics, one kick mic, two percussion mics, and two small diaphragm condensers as overheads. Now, another great thing to see is the build quality. Typically, mics of this particular range are going to be made with some sort of PVC or plastic material, and that makes it kind of flimsy and prone to cracking when you drop it occasionally, which you do in a studio or in a live setting. These are full metal, which is great to see it at this price point. I can't tell you how many times I've used cheap mics that just felt cheap, so you don't really get to use it with the same amount of respect you would with something that feels a lot better. Now, along with the mics, you get all the clips and holders as well. And for the Tom slash snare mics, you get the clamp style ones. These are great because it's a quick and easy way to declutter your kit, uh, whether you're performing live or if you have a small recording space, uh, these really save up on a lot of real estate. If you've seen any of our reviews, you know how methodical we are when it comes to testing these products. And there's no exception over here. We'll start off with each mic in isolation so you can hear the toms by themselves, the snare by itself, the kick by itself, and the overheads as well. Once we hear them in isolation, then we'll give you a sense of what they all sound like together. There's not going to be any mixing involved over here, maybe just a little bit of panning and balancing. Once you hear the raw files, and in fact, if you want access to the raw files, make sure you sign up to our mailing list on our website, www.compassboxstudio.com, and just go right below and click subscribe. After that, we'll give you like a small mix demo. So with a little bit of EQ and compression on the sources, as well as a little bit of reverb for space, you can get a chance to hear what these mics sound like with a little bit of processing on them as well. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We do a lot of work with indie artists from around India. We produce the series called The Live Sessions. We do a lot of gear reviews and it really, really helps us out uh, when you subscribe because it gives us the opportunity to work with more people. So do consider subscribing if you like our content. On drums today, it's the venerable Prithul Shohan. You guys have seen him on the channel before if you've seen any of our other drum videos. His Instagram information is also given over here, so do consider uh, checking him out. He makes some amazing content too. So without further ado, here are all the isolated samples first.
What did you guys think? Please comment below and tell me what you thought about the individual sources. What do you think are the strengths of this particular kit? What are some of its weaknesses? Now, I'll start off with some of the strengths right off the bat. Uh, the one thing I was surprised to hear, in fact, was the quality of the kick mic as well as the snare mic. You know, typically in the entry level range, you will have Tom mics that are uh, super ringy, uh, they have just too much resonance, there's no attack, there's no definition of the actual hit. Um, that's not actually there in this case. These top mics uh, fed surprisingly well. And so did the kick mic. Uh, the kick mic already has a little bit of that clickiness that you can already hear. So it sounds like it's like pre-EQ'd for like a modern kick sound essentially. My only real criticism is actually with the small diaphragm condensers which are for the overheads. Uh, it's not like there's anything specifically wrong with them, it's just that they're a little harsh on the top end and they sound, for lack of a better definition, uh, not high def, basically. Also, when it comes to overheads for cheap kits, I know it's difficult to get additional features on them, but it would have been great to see maybe a 10 dB pad because some drummers are extremely loud and not a lot of the entry level interfaces have 10 dB pads on them. So it would have been great to see some kind of low cut filter and maybe a pad on these microphones. But I know that's asking a lot for a product of this price point. So aside from the overheads, which I think can be tweaked a little bit, maybe in the Mark II version, especially considering its price. I mean, it's clearly targeted towards the first time drum mic kit buyer. And honestly, you can't really go wrong at that price point with these. Uh, the only thing I would suggest is maybe switching out the small diaphragms for something else. Now let's hear a small sample of what that kit sounds like with a little bit of mixing on top of it. What did you guys think? Uh, do you think it takes EQ and compression well? Uh, would you consider buying a product like this? I would love to know. Now, are you an engineer or a producer or actually especially a drummer that's looking to get their hands on a new set uh, for recording drums? Then this is your opportunity. Audio Ray has given us one of these to give away to one lucky subscriber. All the information is given in the description below. So do check it out. One lucky Indian is going to be getting this soon. And that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.